Welcome to this test video on Bally Spring map with me, Mr. CLP. I am back on Bally Spring. Are you surprised? Um, this is a test of sorts. I have to be very careful thinking about the thumbnail for this. Um, I'm going to be looking at animal growth, animal growth cycles. A couple of things I, um, I say I missed, didn't miss them, forgot to show them. I got overexcited. <laughs> this is this this map is one that I, I'm more excited about this map than I have been any other for quite a while. That's no disrespect to other, any other map maker, modder, anything at all. Um, but I'll often do a map tour and I'll be like, okay, I might do a let's play on that. I'll am an R about it. Sometimes I think, you know, I'm definitely going to do a let's play on that. This one, oh man, ideas buzzing around my head. Loads of people have messaged and uh, said that myself and Mrs. Silly P who are doing a co-op let's play together i'm teaching how to play farming simulator we should do it on here i 100 percent agree um so here's the situation i've had a lot of people messaging me saying certain things aren't working certain things are working um that when i said in the last episode when i did the map tour i don't care if they grow or don't grow the immersion's amazing i had as many people message me and say yes the animals do grow which is fantastic as people say no they don't it doesn't work <laughs> So, you know what, I'm going to come on, I'm going to test it myself. What have I done? What have I set up? Now, there's a few things I wanted to mention, like I say, that I missed. I got overexcited and um, when I did the map tour, didn't show. One was the removal of walls and fences. If I come to a wall like this, walk up against it. If I do L1 on PlayStation Station Control and push forward, where are we? It says hide object. Down the D-pad, you can take out chunks of wall. Now, that's not gone and you have to replace the wall, come back to it, press it again, show objects, it puts them back. Now, that's not a hidden collision. I can go through that now with vehicles, etc. Uh, hedges I showed you, cutting with a chainsaw, but the same thing will work with fences. If I come up to the fence, L1, hide objects, we can take out fence sections as well. So a few people said, oh, you missed it. It was on my list. I got, I got so overexcited and didn't show it. Uh, next of those things was horses. I put chicken pens in at the end because I couldn't find any on the map. Horses have foals. Look at that. Is that not just... Look at them. The extra animation and stuff on them is just staggeringly good. Um, so if we jump on here, all of the different ones we've got. So we've got our greys, our palominos, black, and all the rest of it. And then you've got the foal of it. Now, I've put in chicks and ducklings. We've got calves in the cow pen. I've got piglets. And I've got porkers in the pig pens. And then the sheep pens, that's where things get really spicy. Um, but what I've also done on each of these, I've put in a bally spring animal pen pasture and then a modded one i haven't gone for a standard like in game one I've just i've just gone for a modded one various different ones i had now what you'll notice is and this is something else some people message and said that i've put in an animal pen the animals aren't showing so the bally spring ones that are part of the map as you can see we've got porkers and piglets um this is showing bottom right i've got 12 animals in there but they're not showing so that's a modded one so i've done that for the chicks I haven't done it for the foals. The foals I've just left as they are. And then we come along to our sheep, goats, etc. I've got a, a selection in here. So I've got um, lambs. I've got um, kids. I have got some goats because they produce goat milk. And I wanted to produce some goat milk because that brings me on something else in a moment. Um, and what was the thing I was going to say? Um, I've also got there's a, uh, a male kid which will then turn into a ram. I've done the same, I think, in the calves. I think I put in uh, a male calf and a, of Angus and Holstein, so we should get the bull versions of those. Now, people have been asking about the bull versions. Do you need them in there for reproduction? The rest of it, you don't. They're just there as a protector of the herd, that kind of thing. But what you can do, if you want to really go down that rabbit hole of immersion on this map, you can serve the animals so you can at certain points introduce a bull into the paddock to run through that simulation of you know so the reproduction cycle runs forward I have to be careful because you can get demonetized so easily and, you know. and the same thing if I go across to the modded version I think I tried to duplicate what I had but the animals aren't showing now 
as well as that I'm looking at the growth of them now the growth cycles if we go to each of these to buy new ones it does say here what they are so a lamb will be zero to eight months a sheep is eight months plus the lambs won't reproduce the sheep will the rams as it says there they're the father animals of the sheep they serve as protectors note rams do not reproduce so if you've got any males what would normally is the that would happen is the males get removed uh, the same with calves um, they do what they need to do some may be kept as a bull but um, not always uh, so that's for i think it was the same for the um the goats of the kids the kids and the lambs were the same we come around to the calves because like i say oh, i was going to jot down what all the all the um sort of the, the amount of time it took for each of the animals but it does say there calf female so the calf will be from zero to 12 months becomes a heifer at 12 months so normally a heifer is um, a cow that has not um, been in calf yet or has only had one calf is a heifer normally. And then the, from 12 to 22 months where it becomes a cow and then it's full-blown cow, off you go. The calves don't reproduce. They will become a bull. So I think I've only put one of those in. And uh, the same with the Angus. Now I know they do all produce milk in here. Um, which is absolutely fine. And then the chicks come across the way to our chicks and ducklings. I don't know why these are. I don't know. I say then no, they're all amazing. I think the calves, the piglets, the the goat adding in. I think that's just brilliant. So the chicks and the ducklings are the same here. So it's a chick from zero to six months, and then a chicken from six months onwards. Um, and then the same goes for the uh, duckling. Uh, where we go duckling female zero to six and it's a duck from six months on they will all produce eggs and the eggs are standard people last me out i thought i mentioned it when i did the map tour but that's, you know you will just get eggs now something else important was for feed i meant to say about the sheep pen as well if we go to actually we're going to go to this menu and we go to where are we where's our cows gone so our cows here it tells you what's required now for the calves the calves require milk and it will go in that order so they will take milk first as a priority now it always used to be you could put in um, grass and hay if you wanted to that would give you a certain percentage um, if you then put in total mix ration they will eat the total mix ration first that will give you a hundred percent effectiveness um, but with the calves in here they will take milk as a priority so you have to give the calves milk which is true to real life for a certain amount of time they need the colostrum from from their mothers so they will be colostrum colostrum i can never remember um so they, they will require milk and um, there is total mix ration there but what's also cool as well is you can give them silage silage will give you 90 percent total mix ration is 100 percent so if you think well you know what I, I i don't want to i haven't got time to be mucking around making hay and making straw for padding out my total mix ration or doing silage and, and hay i just want to feed them silage silage will give you a 90 percent effectiveness on your feed on here so the fact they've added that in because a lot of farmers they'll they'll feed silage it might be mixed in with some other bits and bobs some minerals and bits and bobs here and there so yeah milk and silage big difference so the next thing i want to do i show, show the walls fences go around and show the animals so what it should be our piglets should be the first ones that will change to porkers so we need to keep on the piglets um that's not to three months then it'll be our chickens chicks and ducklings at not to six months then it'll be our calves i think no there'll be goats which is zero to eight so we'll kind of work our way through and we should see them change now i don't know if it's a gradual growth i wouldn't have thought so i would imagine they will stay as a chick or a duckling or a piglet or whatever for that amount of time then we'll flip over and then we bam they'll all be the same size so that's what we're looking out for the other thing i want to try now is the fact i've got all these pens that are showing they've got animals in but they're not you can't actually see them i'm going to save the game come out and come back in again to see if doing that will put the animals into the pen or whether or not on bally spring it's just going to be a situation where you'll just have to you have to use the bally spring um pens potentially um so i'm going to save the game come out come back in we'll check that then i'll be skipping through the months and we'll see how the animals progress it's just that's the whole thing it's just a bit of a test for me for my own sanity just to see what's what 
Okay, so I've saved the game, come back out, come back in again, the animals are not showing. Now I did have someone message me yesterday, and I'll be honest, it didn't make sense to me. It was something along the lines of placing the pens, they weren't showing, but if you come out and start a new save game, then they will. But if you start a new save game, you're starting again. I'm, I'm not sure how that would work, because it wouldn't be the save you've got that's got the pens on, so you'd have to put new pens in. I don't know whether it just needs to reset itself. As far as I can tell at the moment, it looks like um, it's the Bally Spring pens you're going to have to use. It's not the end of the world. They're not expensive. They've got really good capacities. It's, you know, um, obviously there's a limited amount of pens you can have on the map, the map as well. So because each of the farms around the map, that's something else to mention, each of the farms that have got animals on, to get all of these on this main farm for me to do the testing, uh, the farm that's got cows on, that's got pigs on, um, that one had that had the sheep and, and goats and stuff and then we had the cow pasture there I had to remove the animals and remove the pastures and pens oh there's a chicken pen that was I think someone said behind the house there was a chicken pen I missed it when I did the map tour apologies for that so I had to remove all of those from the other farms to put these extra ones in so at some point because there are a lot of pens around the map already you may hit the limit fairly quickly and the last thing I want to mention before I skip ahead is uh, with the goats in here, because the goats produce milk. Now, I don't know whether or not these are going to... these will produce anything, I don't know. Um, but this, the modded pen over here that is showing as having animals in it, 22, um, because this is... Let's go down to here, because this is a modded one, and this should be for our... goats so that one there is the one from bally spring so as you can see on the right hand side productivity wool and milk we'll get wool from the sheep milk from the goats the modded one whilst it has allowed me to put goats and lambs in although i can't see them it's only showing wool because the the pen is designed for sheep and for wool production it's not designed to produce milk so even though i've put goats in there I wouldn't get any milk from it, so that's also something to be aware of, because obviously the um, the sheep and goats on Bally Spring are designed specifically to do that. The other thing I was thinking is, you know, if you were starting out, you could get yourself a pen of goats, get quite a few of them. All you've got to do is cut grass to feed them. You can be producing milk, you can because you don't have a separate goat's milk and milk it just comes out as milk that you can feed to your cows, your calves. So if you haven't started out, you might have bought a load of calves that you're going to rear and grow up. You can give them milk from your goats. Cool, we're going to doing it. So what we're going to do now is we are going to skip ahead. Like I said, it's going to be piglets first. So what will happen is we should get... The piglets should end up looking like this. So we'll have a look at the piglets now while they're still piglets. I'm going to skip ahead three months and we'll see what happens. The porkers will get to a point um, that goes from three to six. So potentially at that point, when we flip over, the piglets will become porkers. The porkers will become pigs. So that's that point where you've got to decide, do you sell them on at that point? Do you have full, full blown pigs? It's up to you. So I will see you in three months. Three months have gone past. And my ducklings and chicks have already turned into uh, already turned into animals. Already turned into uh, larger animals. I think I was looking at the wrong thing, wasn't I? Um, where it says age zero, puberty six months, so not to six months. The gestation period says two months. But I thought that was when they were when they were going to give birth. Anyway, regardless. Um, as you can see, our chicks have become chickens, our ducklings have become ducks, male and female, and our two male chicks have become roosters. So realistic, you only want one of those, or you might not want to put any of those in at all. Next thing, point of uh, note, horses, although they are foals, they still need daily exercise. Um, so when you come up to them, it says ride it puts them in as a, a larger horse. Could you imagine your character sat on a tiny little horse? Um, that would be bizarre. But anyway, so they will they will still need regular exercise. I'm going to sort that out later on. But just to show you, uh, we should go through now then. I could have got this wrong, couldn't I? 
Um, the other thing I want to check is because I put in normal goats. I need to get some more bedding in there. Uh, normal goats who are producing milk. I, I'm going to take some milk out of my goat and uh, sheep pen. They're already producing wool. And here's the thing. On both of them, although this isn't showing any animals. I'm still getting wool. So they are producing, although you can't see them. Which, I mean, that's 90% of what you want to do, isn't it? You want to see them. So they're still okay. Now we need to go and check on our pigs. And it may need to reevaluate. There we go. Look at that. So our piglets and our porkers... Our porkers and our pigs. So they are growing. Which is fantastic. That cycle as it goes through. And what will happen now is the porkers that become pigs, the pigs will run through their gestation cycle. And when they give birth, they're going to give birth and there'll be more piglets in the pen again. So that whole cycle runs round. And it was that, you know, I can't... Um... <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? It, it's it's such a, a massive thing. It's such a huge thing. I mean, the concept of it, when I did the map tour, I was absolutely blown away by the fact that we've got all these, you know, all these animal types. So milk from my goats. I should be able to take through and feed to the calves. There we go, milk. <laughs> this is fantastic. This is beyond brilliant. It is absolutely amazing. So I've got to check this again then, because these will be showing here. If I go to the actual information there, for our chicks and ducklings and whatnot... So that's the first one. And this is the one put in. Yeah, let me there. Age three months. Puberty, the roosters are in there. It's some showing duck, duck, chicken, rather than the ducklings. And the chicks that I originally put in there, which is amazing. The pig pasture. Did I put a boar in there? Oh, of course, yeah. Because that would be the piglet, wouldn't it? Um, the male piglets are boars, aren't they? They're not... Porkers, male and female. And the female piglets are sows. Well, oh, they're supposed to be porkers. The porkers have gone sows. Oh, anyway... But then it changes all in the menu here. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm so... There's so much information to get your head around, but it's brilliant. So I'm just looking now, then. Those have gone. The chicks have, and piglets have done. They will continue to. We'll run through another cycle, and then they will um, reproduce. So next should be lambs and goats. So we should go from those at eight months. So we've done three, so we've got a few more months to skip ahead on that. And then it'll be the calves to heifers and bulls at 12 months. <laughs> awesome. Right, I've got five months to skip ahead now, um, assuming that works out correctly for our lambs and our kids. I've got some horses to exercise. Actually, I do need to check on the feed situations. How are we looking? I think everything was looking okay. Apart from horses are okay. Yeah, that pen, um, the free range sheep pasture, that's going to need some more hay. That one's looking okay. Pigs could probably do with the top up just to make sure they're okay. I, I didn't balance it correctly, but you have got, you know, if you look at the total capacity, the effectiveness, that's the same as anything that requires two or more things. Um, I just filled up the total mix ration. Didn't think twice, just put a load of total mix ration in. Problem is it didn't leave much room for the milk then. So if you want to get the balance a bit better, half and half, it'll be a case of testing to work out how much the full pen takes 
and then do half and half of each of that. But especially if you've got calves in there, because they're going to require the milk. Um, so what I've been doing is, every time the total capacity drops down, I'm not adding total milk ration, I'm just putting milk in each time for that top up constantly, milk going in. Um, I need some more bedding. So that's the only thing we're doing a test like this, is you've got to keep on top of the feed and exercise and stuff like that. It's one reason why I always say now with the new situation with crops growing and people saying about skipping ahead, if you've got livestock on your map and you're doing a let's play and you've got you want to skip ahead to the next harvest, each day or couple of days you skip ahead, you've got to deal with all your animal husbandry as you would do in real life. You've you've still got your animal upkeep to do. So whilst on camera it might look like we've jumped from planting season to harvest season, if you've got animals that may have been a few hours worth of work in between to get to that harvest point. It's just the nature of what you do if you're going to be doing livestock. So anyway, right, let's skip ahead. Right, we're six months in and stuff's all over the place. Nothing's following any rules. <laughs> it's just doing its own thing as life has a tendency to do. Bear in mind, I did two months of the first three and my chicks and, chick and, chicks and ducklings have turned into chickens and ducks. Um, I've come back across here thinking, well, we've got another four months on from there and I've got no chicks or ducklings. Their same reproduction uh, or um, their reproduction 50%, so potentially soon, and we're getting some eggs. But look at the horses. That was 0 to 12 months. That was it 0 to 12 or 0 to 22 months, apparently. We're six months in and they've gone from foal to a little bit bigger which makes riding them a little bit easier and a little bit normal a bit more normal bit more normal but anyway so they've moved on i think six months in we have got some piglets our calves are still calves i'm sure we've got some piglets we have look we got some piglets so our porkers are all pigs. The pigs moved forward. The ones that were porkers originally became pigs. The piglets became porkers. Um, the ones that became pigs initially have reproduced. So we've now got some piglets. So the cycle is going round. They'll then go another three months. Porkers and on we go again. I just love that. You've got the piglets flitting around in there. I've been filling these all up there. They're all still saying stuff. As far as I can tell, we've still got lambs in here. So we should get... I think I put a ram in here, didn't I? I'm sure I put a ram in. Did I say that earlier? If we go down to these... Uh, goat female, goat female. Young goat. Shit, hang on a minute. We've still got some lambs. Well, that's the young goat. Have our lambs become sheep? Can't see any other... Any other lambs. Six months in. This was supposed to be eight months. So a young ram is now a ram. Blimey. Yeah, goat female. Goat female. I only had 10 put in originally, so they were the kids, which are now goats. Young goat male. Sheep female. Yeah. So they have. They've all done what they needed to do. They will now go through the next cycle. We've now got young goats. So the cycles move forward one step. Wowzers, okay. We should be looking as well in here. Milk, 1,702 litres. Wool still being produced. It's the cows I'm waiting for as well. Blimey. The problem is you, you can't put in enough pens, and animal pens, to have one pen for each type. Because I could have had one pen for... Um, the lambs, one pen for the um, kids, 
and then watch those go and one pen that had sheep in and watch those reproduce but you just can't you can't place enough pens to do that oh snow's honking down so what as well on this map the lighting as it goes through the seasons amazing um also seasonal changes when we got through to october there were pumpkins outside the farmhouse um possibly from the thumbnail uh, as we got into winter december time the christmas tree was out um it's fantastic to watch so these will be the next guys that will go forward and we should as well then get some more chicks they haven't got to worry about now because they've done what they needed to do they've come from foal to horse or mare should i say so I don't have to worry about that anymore. They've done their thing. So these I'm just waiting for chicks or ducklings. I just want to see that next cycle on. I want to see the new births as we've gone from the small animals to the larger animals on again. And how they're reproducing into that pen. Um, but what I am going to do, I'm going to whiz up and I'm going to get an animal trailer. Because something I did wonder about moving these about. Are the livestock trailers equipped? If I decide I want to move the young out, so if I want to take the piglets out of the pen and put the piglets separate, will the trailers take them as a piglet and put them into another pen as a piglet, or will it put them in as a pig? Um, so that's my next test. Right, I've grabbed the livestock trailer. I'm down at the pigs. And what I'm going to try... Uh, piglets... There should be three. Three. Move to trailer. Okay. It says they were... What I'm going to try and do, the pen next door that's not showing anything, there should be piglets in that one as well. Uh, let's fold that up. So get to the point there. Let's try there as well. Three in there. So they're, they're in there, they're just not showing. So I should have six piglets in here. It's just when I put them into this pen, which is a bally spring one, are they going to go in as piglets? If they do... <laughs> Next level. They have... They have an all. Look at that. Blimey, governor. <laughs> this is phenomenal. Loving it. Glad I went back in to do testing. Right, I'll see you. What's going to be next? Hopefully some more chicks and ducklings. We'll see what happens there. We've got some new goats. I don't know if we'll get some more lambs and stuff. We might well do. But the, the what's showing us um, growth and gestation times don't seem to be following exactly none of the numbers I've, because I thought okay well I need to go by the gestation rather than by the um, what it's saying by the age but they don't seem to be following that because my lambs it's saying 0 to 8 and we're at 6 months and they've grown so we'll see next month potentially piglets and uh, piglet. chicklets chicklets and ducklings chicks and ducklings see you next month and we'll see what happens Seven months, and I'm smiling like a child. Chicks and ducklings. Listen to that sound. Is there not a more heartwarming sound? And then that happens. <laughs> oh, man, it's absolutely brilliant. So what well, these cows are producing some manure. Wow, are they? Um, that's the only thing I'm supposed to point out now is if we go into this menu here some of the Bally Spring pens aren't showing certain things how piglets are in that extra one aren't they um, for example initially the Bally Spring pen here doesn't show it needs water but it did take some where the water trough is but I haven't needed to refill that um, calves are separate and the same with the pigs. The pig pasture wasn't showing need any water, but it took some. And there we go, it's showing in there, ducklings and chicks. 
I love how the menu's changing as it goes as well. It's just fantastic to see. Come on, giants. Come on. You can do this. You got this. So I guess we've had pigs, piglets, porkers to pigs or to sows. Foals to mares. We've gone for a full cycle with rebirth with the chicks as well. So next is the cows. We're just waiting on the cows. And that could be... Well, it says 12 months. Who knows? I'm sure gestation is 10 months for the cows. So potentially at 10 months. We're at 7 now. Um, and then these should be grown. And again, we've checked now. All the things I had on my list to check. It was um, test for the animal pens. Saving and coming out and coming back. Um, transfer of livestock with a livestock trailer. But I wanted to wait till I had piglets new piglets could i move them like i say it's working in the bally spring to bally spring but also it took them out of that modded one and put them into the bally spring so it was also proving that whilst the pens aren't showing any animals if you've got your um field info screen open at the bottom and i come over to here now this one is showing there are 30 animals in there so i can still with the right transfer device whatever trailer or whatever it is you're using you can take animals out of them even though you can't see them but as i said earlier i mean 90 percent 100 percent of having them is being able to see them and the sound effects and everything go with it so let's skip ahead let's see on the cows we're at eight months didn't get to 10 didn't get to 12. our calves and our heifers and bulls I thought I'd only put one of each of the balls in, but apparently not. I put five of each. So according to this, yeah. Bull Holstein, five. Heifer, Angus, five. Bull Angus, five. Heifer, Holstein. So, <laughs> and look at them. This is so cool. Then the heifers will go a bit further on to become cows. Then the reproduce, reproducing, the reproduction cycle will run again, and we'll get calves. Got more piglets in here. Well, they're doing all right. They're doing all right. Just want to whiz over and check on. These guys are all looking okay. Milk production, milk production is pretty good, I have to say. So with a larger herd of goats, we'll be fine. I think these are still piglets. We might have another month to go before these become porkers. Are they porkers now? No, they're porkers now. Hang on. Oh, gee, horses. Let's go down to the last one. Oh, still saying piglet. Oh, no, some are porkers. So one lot were a little bit further ahead. That's interesting, because both those pens, the... Um, Bally Spring one and the modded one that I put in were put in the same time, same amount of animals. They both had three lots of piglets. One lot of piglets was worth more. And interestingly, one lot of piglets has gone to porkers ahead of the other ones. But they were all started at the same time. Regardless, I mean, at the end of the day, if you're playing through cycles anyway, and you're going through your months or going through your years and whatever you're doing... In all honesty, it doesn't matter. I know people kind of get, when the original Seasons came out, I did a whole load of testing on Seasons, and people were really, really concerned and worried about how long it would take and how many months will it be and what will I get. And at the end of the day, just roll with it. If it's supposed to be six months, eight months, ten months, and it ends up being three months or four months, or it doesn't matter. As we can see, they are growing. They are getting bigger. They are reproducing. You are getting then the baby versions of them in whatever form it may be it's rolling through a life cycle and that is a massive massive um i think improvement to the game i think it's a huge improvement to the game and i wanted to see it for myself i wanted to see it working so yeah for some people maybe there, there might be some issues um that certain things aren't working like these aren't but as i've already said repeatedly i know i've said it a few times now the animals are in there they're just um, they're just not showing up. So if you're on Bally Spring, you're better off using the Bally Spring mods. But there might be certain barns and stuff that people want to use. But I have to say, oh man, <laughs> absolutely fantastic. And that's where I'm going to leave it. That's my testing. That's all I want to do. I know now, having seen the pigs doing it, having seen the sheep and the goats doing it, having seen the, the chickens and the, the ducks doing it, 
I know the cows will run through their next set of gestation cycles and will get calves in the pen. Well, I, I, I honestly, in my head, I don't need to see that. Or should I? Should I skip ahead? What do you reckon? Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to skip ahead. Yep. Oh, I want to see the calves in there. And we'll take all the bulls out. And then what we'll do is we'll just see the calves in there. I'll leave one bull in, maybe. Yeah. I want it. Yeah. I was just skipping through with the cows. Filling up their feed and stuff like that. We are oh, 19 months from the start. And that pen that I moved those six piglets out, piglets out of, we've now got 15 animals in here. A mixture. We go to there. We've got lots of sows, porkers and piglets all mixed in here. So from those six, we've got all of that. And what's interesting, or I've again, I found it interesting, is our cows, the difference between the Holsteins and the Angus... The Holsteins went through puberty and moved into the reproduction cycle way quicker than the Angus did. So if we go um, and check in here, you'll see that our Holstein heifers are at 80% reproduction. So in the next month or two, we should then get calves being born. The Angus heifers took much longer to get through puberty, so they're only at 20% reproduction. Now, they were, they were all put in at exactly the same time. So... Um, they were a little bit behind. So I think the um, Holsteins for calving for rebirth... I mean, at the end of the day, I say Angus usually are for um, for meat, if you want to put it that way, and Holsteins are for milk. But the other interesting thing as well, though, is bearing in mind these are heifers. These haven't moved to cows yet. As heifers, they're not producing milk. I've got no milk. So even though they're at 19 months old, I think until they hit 22... Um, we won't get milk from them. So that's something to bear in mind. From calf to heifer to cow, at cow, then we'll start getting milk. So that's something else to bear in mind. So another month or two, we should get some calves in there. But there'll be Holstein calves first, um, and then we'll... a little bit further behind. But I just want to get some calves in there. So. And so, 21 months in... I'm going to double-check on here. I'm sure it's 21. It says for the... For the uh, Yep, 21 months, 21 months. They're still saying heifers, still... Oh, no, we've got some milk. See, it doesn't... <laughs> the rules don't make sense. Everything's just thrown out the window now. Um, but, oh, and it could be because they've given birth. Wow, that's okay, that's amazing. So, because they've given birth, milk sacks to feed the... Okay, that's nuts. Um, we've got some calves. We should have in here five little calves as well as our heifers, which are soon to become cows. We have got a bit of milk production going. And my testing here on Bally Spring is complete. I'm even more convinced now I want to come on here, honestly. Um, and the lighting, I know a lot of people said when I did the, the map tour, the lighting was way too bright, it was relight or something like that. That's only in the, the high summer months it does that. Um, I'm finding as we go through the months, when it's overcast and cloudy, uh, through the winter months, the grass on here as well is phenomenal. Um, but there you go, that's my testing done. That's animal growth, uh, animal transfer in um, livestock trailers. Showing you a couple of extra bits and bobs. And basically just information sharing. Um, and, you know, everything is still reproducing, still going. My pigs are going strong over here. The pigs are going strong over there. My sheep, my goats, my lambs, my kids... I've got 82 animals in here now. <laughs> I started with 20, I think. Is it 20? It wasn't many. Absolutely fantastic. So, hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.